Hope you're doing YouTube, it's Dean Park of Basel with... This is Baza. And happy Saturday. It's a bit of a weird day today, isn't it? We've, yeah, it's supposed to be the, the tropical storm. Yeah, well, we changed plans three times on one. Um, I was supposed to be picking up my new car today, spoilers, but that got postponed. So keep an eye out for that in the next uh, couple of weeks. And like you said, there was a tropical storm, but as you can see outside, uh, we had about three hours of rain, drizzle. And that was it. Not saying it won't rain again, but uh, when we went out last night, went out with some friends down Disney Spring, this is what we saw on the car, wasn't it? When we set off, it just said like yeah. a warning. Thunderstorm warning. Tropical, tropical storm, storm warning. warning. And on the way back as well. Yes, it, it came just... up again, didn't it? Um, but yeah, we had a good time last night. Didn't do any filming, so it was just a social night um, um, down in, in Disney Springs, down there, with Stacey and Pete and Stephen and Chris and Jen. Hello. Hello. Thanks for coming out with us, celebrating the Jubilee. Weren't we? we did have a little, add a few beverages. Added a few beverages, went to Stargazers, went to uh, Edison for the mm -hmm. first time for cocktails and also went to Enzo's Hideaway mm -hmm. for the first time for a meal. It was a good night, so thanks guys for coming out with us. So what we're going to do today, so two things. Number one is uh, we have a friend in England who is desperately trying to get hold of the drawers, um, which lounge fly, <laughs> lounge fly bag. Um, and we've had Becker and Ben from the great British Mickey Waffle. Hi guys, looking for us. They've been in Universal this week, couldn't find it. I don't think we will. I don't think we will. But we're going to scout down to Universal, that's why we've got our stuff on, and we're going to go and check out the shop in City Walk, and we are going to go maybe in the park and see if it's in there. Um, to um, And it, well, it, by the time this vlog goes out, we'll already be in England, and we'll know if we got it in time or not, so don't worry, we're not spoiling it for anybody. And then we'll take you somewhere you probably haven't heard of before called the International Food Club, which is up on LB McLeod. It's a place, a warehouse, where you can go and get English food as well, and um, a lot of different um, foods from different parts of the world. We got on it, we got put on it about 20 years ago by Mick, who used to run the Georgian Dragon. Mm -hmm. He used to get all this stuff there, didn't he? His yeah. chocolate bars and crisps, crisps. and mm -hmm. when we drove down from Virginia, we used to fill the car up with boxes of Walker's crisps. Yeah, and yeah. Huge spent, boxes, didn't we? Quite, spent quite a lot of money, didn't Tea we? Tea bags, so uh, we'll see. Um, how well stocked that is. And the reason we'll go is that's up near Universal as well, so we'll catch that on the way back. So um, come with us and we will head up the road to Universal. So we're on our way, just stopped here at some lights. Just to give you an update on the AC, because uh, we mentioned it on the last vlog, or the vlog before, didn't we? Mm. Uh, yeah, still got problems. It's been going down every day. We've had them out many times. I've been getting up at 2, 3 a.m. every morning to go down and cycle the power on it to reset it. It's a tough problem. It keeps saying it's low pressure, but all the pressures look good. We've changed, well, they've changed circuit boards. They've put more Freon in it. They've been they've been out every day we've asked them. So the decision on Friday was to uh, leave it till Monday morning and then do it at the same time they're online to tech support from the manufacturer and see if they can sort it out together. So they're coming back on Monday and uh, hopefully it's good. It's just very tiring getting up at 2 a.m. every morning like I did again this morning. Just once you cycle the power on it, it resets itself fine. But apparently if it pay, if it gets three error codes in sequence, then it won't reset until you remove the power on it. And we're just coming up, we're running parallel to the i4. Let's have a quick look at the i4 and see how that's doing Parking lot. today. Yep. So just be aware when you come and get a vacation home and they say it's 20 minutes from Universal, just plot out the road you're going on because we did get a comment on one of our blogs from somebody who stayed here for a couple of weeks and their um, biggest complaint was the traffic on the I-4 every day was horrendous and it is it's horrendous every day at all times so um, just be aware if you're going on the I-4 try and try and look for an alternative if you have to go on it just you know best thing is go on um, Google wherever you are in the world go on the um, Google Maps like at 8 o'clock in the morning or every time you'd be traveling US time well I guess it's the yeah, afternoon in the UK and just see what a, a duration is from your hotel to wherever you're going and that'll give you an indication of what the real travel time is like uh, to get from your hotel to, and again to Disney or Universal but that's always a trick because that time of day will be typically the same times but uh, another set of lights here we stopped at and we are halfway to Universal mm -hmm. a little bit easier getting in this time yeah I think the storm's keeping people away Typical, we got behind uh, somebody who wanted to have a long conversation around everything that was happening in the park. That's that Hello. truck. Doesn't know where he's going again. The one I said avoid getting behind. Oh, what is it with trucks? That oh, was a different one, wasn't it? That. So yeah, it was um, sat at the what do you call it? The ticket booth there for I don't know five minutes. We had a chat with the guy. 
don't do that. Yeah. Do your research or uh, wait till you get in. Don't hold the line up. We're just going to wait for the buses to cross Volcano Bay. And we should be through every set of light spins against you today, hasn't it, Max? It does. Yeah. We want to spin a red light. I don't think we'll take the brollies in with this because they're looking at those trees you probably can't see from here, but there was they were bending in some of the palm trees up there. So I think we may um the brollies won't do very well. We just have to risk the showers that have been on and off. You can take yours in? Yeah. Okay. I want one of those things that says ten minutes later, because we sat through two cycles of those lights, didn't we? Mm -hmm. there you go. Come on truck, get out the way. Yeah. So we uh, waited quite a while, didn't we? Mm. So waiting up to the roof. Then all the bottom ones blocked off. Yep, all the way to the roof. Just what you want on a stormy day, be parked out in the rain. Could be worse, could be hot sunshine. There's a park. Ooh. Used to be like this every Sunday weekend, didn't it? it did. We'd be on the roof. At least we're right down this end of the roof, near where you're going to go into the park over there. You can park down here many times on a Sunday, and in the summer, of course, your car gets red hot, doesn't it? Up here. The bad logic here is that all the people leaving the cars have to cross the traffic that's actually parking. Which um, is not good practice. You should have marshals there making them walk down the aisle behind because somebody's going to get hurt. So you have to come here for the escalators. Yeah, maybe we'll have to cut the corner off. But I guess there's no escalators. That always lift down there, isn't it? It's a lift on that bit, not an escalator. So we park and we'll walk down this side so we're not walking across the traffic. Security's not too bad, is it? No, really quiet. Yeah. About the right crowd levels for you. Yep. Yeah, it could be raining again later on today. We will see. I think the best place shop to go to is that new one that's opened up on the left. If you go in the um, tribute type store, whatever it is. Yeah, the vintage one. That should have the drawer stuff in. So we're going to try a couple of shops in City Walk first before we go in the park. See if we can see the bag. Fast cow fish. We can't recommend that place enough, can we? After last time. I think it's around here, the store, isn't it? Yeah, yeah this one here, the Universal Legacy, Legacy Store, that's the word, not Tribute. Yeah, it wasn't Tribute, Tribute's yeah. the one in the park. Let's go and see if we've got a drawers bag in here. Been in here once, haven't we, just after it opened? There's lots of bars and restaurants all around this area, City Walk, if you come in but you have to make a reservation most of uh, can't just walk in maybe today you could but most days no Bombay. oh yeah <laughs> yeah yeah it's a nice one often you see that color yeah that is true those are big cups oh no back to the future i don't see any bags do you got the Oh, draws animatronic. It was really crammed last time we came here because it just opened, hadn't it? So it was really, really busy. I don't even remember coming in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember coming in, but I don't remember the layout. Let's go over there, and I think there's a. Marvel. Eighteen bucks for those we saw. And we did the garage sale thing. <laughs> Mignons. I have a very small cookie, but I don't have a lot to them too. Fast and Furious. I think it is, like a pork plush car. Jimmy Fallon, over there is it? And Bart Simpson and Jurassic. Different. Bling. Yeah, I can't, I can't 
I get why they have a Bart Simpson cup like that, just because of his mouth. Mm -hmm. Minions, minions, minions. More minion stuff coming to the parks, I think. Donkey is my spirit animal. Donkey. Men in black. Is that from the original? That one? No, it's fabricated for the grand opening. Oh, right. They made it for when they launched the uh, thing. Yes, it's all the Harry Potter over there. Slithering, you got your backpack for you. Whichever house you're in. Nope, I think you're uh... We're out of luck in here. Yep. Go and try another big shop. Which is just the other side there. about for wait times to get in. Yeah. There's nobody at the one at the end if you want. Yeah. Oh this one here. Yeah. But I think we'll be out of luck somehow. We'll keep looking there. Yeah. This is nice and cool in here. E.T. There's E.T. Welcome home. Nothing around there? No, it's all Harry Potter and Marvel then. Marvel. Unless they introduce something. Yeah, there's that shop out there, aren't there? can do. Go oh, look at that shop anyway. Going to the one on the way out then, so we your last hope, Obi Wan. I know, I'm going to go. Okay, we're going to try one last place, and that's a new tribute store because that's got a Jaws and ET. That might have something in it. Do you think? We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, we'll this is just next to the mummy that isn't open yet. So let's go inside and see what if they have anything for Jaws in here. <laughs> ET, Jaws, and a tribute store. Thank you. Look at Hello. So every room's a different movie. So this is E.T. Oh my god, this is a little cute. This is gotta be the Jaws one. There's some bags there, but they're not the ones. Those are the ones that uh, Becky and I think so. Becky and Ben. The right little person's mother. Yeah, with the same design. There's the uh, the guns and harpoons they used against Jaws. Some of the uh, not the actual props, but some of the props from it. So this is a uh, Quinn's kitchen and workshop. The bounty. You can catch the shark. Got an engine there. Toolboxes, the old Joe's mouth, that's his cook pot, the pans, food, meal cookies. He got his uh, shirts here. 
Very cool. And they got his uh, Quinn's cushion chair up there, Max, from the movie type thing, prop with his beer and his jacket on the back. Very cool. Very, very cool. This is the Back to the Future room. Oh yeah, with the bigger bass from the guitar and the model of the city as well. And the famous clock tower. <laughs> Where they had put the model, didn't they, to uh, plan out what was going to happen. Little bits of paper on the floor, they kind of put them around. Yeah. All the clocks. Very cool. Iconic speaker. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, speaker. All the kids and they're they're showing the uh Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, well, you see it on the right. Uh -uh. Uh, he's uh, got his uh, hoverboard up there, the guitar. Five signed. Hey, I'm signed. No, oh, yeah, 575. Huh? Pretty cool. And the exit. So I think we can officially say, I think we can officially say we're not going to get it today, are we? No. But we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. We've got a few weeks before we come to England, so we'll keep uh, keep our eyes and ears open. So where are we going now, Mix? I don't know where we're going now, Beth. Check the, the wait times. In here. And do here. Look at that wire. We'll get to it, happens. <laughs> Gonna go and try and do Velocicoaster over here. Yeah. It's only 35 minutes. Yeah. So we got to um, the ride, but it was um, down, unfortunately. Yeah. So we sat waiting. It just got going again, but it's uh, it's 45 minutes now. And we have to get out here and get to the shop, and we also get want to get something to eat as well, don't we? So, oh, there he goes again. Brilliant ride. So we'll come back another day and so we will head back out of the park and we might get something to eat before we leave City Walk. We might do. Just yeah. get a snack before we get over to the uh, International Food Club which closes in a couple of hours so we need to get there. seats set like a, like a diner, they've got these cool chairs there that look like swings, I mean they don't swing the whole way, but they are kind of swings, and um, yeah, it's quite a nice uh, atmosphere, you get a number, once you've ordered, I think it's about 30 bucks for two sandwiches, fries and, a, and two drinks, and it's right next door to Panda Express, yeah. on the top, but yeah, it's a pretty cool place, we'll let you know how it is. But I did forget to mention, your annual pass holder discount applies as well here, doesn't it? She asked us, so we got a 10% off. Yeah. Well, which is good, say it's quick service. Maxim doesn't fancy those swinging chairs, so she feel like being on a boat. Yeah, Maxim is sick, we'll yeah. We're going to get one portion of fries to share with us, by the way, that fries. Because we don't know how big the portions are going to be, and yep. how big the sandwiches are going to be, so... Yep. We'll see. We'll test it. So, uh, dinner has arrived, Maxim's gone to the bathroom. Here's my tuna salad. And this is Maxine's chicken salad and they say it's not a huge portion of fries but they're quite um hearty sandwiches and there are no napkins which is interesting so we need to go and find where the napkins are so what do you think max you're eating again i'm eating again yeah so i'll give you my um that's my mess on that give you my um feedback on it so it's okay it's a bit weird with the tuna because it's like uh, mustard on it 
which is, is not normal. So um, yeah, that was a little bit weird. So just had a quick look, it's uh, tuna, Munster, don't know what that is, chopped greens, tomatoes, avocado, wasabi mayonnaise, that was it, on a multigrain, so I would probably not have the wasabi mayonnaise. No. Nope. It was a mayo, it was, well, it tasted like a, like I say, like a mustard. Right. Must have been the wasabi, wasabi. And yours was chicken, apple crisps, arugula, walnut oil, on multigrain. I didn't taste any apple. Okay. Just regular chicken salad. Mine was $9.99 and Maxon's was twelve forty nine. And then the chips were two fifty. Yeah, so it's not it's cheap. like over fifteen dollars for just a regular sandwich and a small portion of chips. Yeah. It's okay. It's alright, if you just want a sandwich instead of a big meal, it's, it's alright. Yep. Onwards and onwards then it's time we get on the road. Before it closes. Yes. <laughs> No use in looking back Gotta laugh for gotta live Cause I'm so over the past And I'm living it fast mm -hmm. Underneath the strobe lights Ready for a crazy night I can hear your heartbeat Banging loud like the drum Let me be your only one Staying at the Double Tree here near Universal, we've now put that pedestrian bridge in finally here to get you across South Kirkman. So that was work that was going on for ages, wasn't it? Yep. And uh, now it looks like it's uh, a little bit safer. Safer and complete. So here we are and as you can see it's pretty much uh, an industrial park you would not know this place was here unless we've been giving you see over here it's just all warehouses and stuff it's that place on the end there and there's obviously some stairs going up and a door but no where that gentleman's walking in through the plastic sheets that is um that's the place where you go in yes. isn't it so we'll head on in i say it's quite uh we remember the club here so you get a discount the more you spend and if you come on a monday you get 10 percent off so there's a tip for you if you're going to come here and fill, you wouldn't do because it's cheaper for you in England, but for us Brits, um, it's still expensive as you're going to see the prices, but it's cheaper than a lot of places. But it isn't just the English portion. This is very small, isn't it? Yeah. The British portion is very small, as you see on here. It's mainly kind of Arabic, is it? Or, yeah. Um, yeah, I think it is. Middle East, I would say, yeah. See, they've got the sign up here. That's where you would think you're going. And maybe you did it one time, but that's all taped up. So you're going to come to these plastic sheets. Charlie. Oh, they got some Robinsons there, Max. And Ribena, they're big Ribenas. They How much are those big Ribenas? $12.79. And we got, oh, got Dandelion and Burdock. Okay. Let's see how much they are. Uh, $1.49, $1.99. Is that true? How's that compared with the. Uh, I think they're about one seventy five at Fry Tuck. At Fry Tuck. Vimto. Got Vimto there. Oh well, yeah, it used to be three or four doors of this. Now you've got like two. Oh, they've got you. They got mince pies. Love more. They've got here, haven't they? Again. Yeah. Mashed roast potatoes. Pike. Oh yeah. We thanks for answering that one on the on the vlog. Everybody told us what pikelets were. We'd never heard of them. Kind of a northern one. We got pies, bacon. And we got the. Uh, Steak kidney pies and then the meat pies at the top for uh, twelve sixty nine. Yeah, they haven't gone up much. Mince pies? Are you going to get any frozen stuff on the way out or not? I don't think I want any unless you want. Yeah, I know we went through They've the frozen stuff. With... Oh, they got battenbergs. Uh, yeah. I don't like the Love More ones. I don't Love More ones. Have you seen how much it is? How much is it? Twelve dollars? Twelve dollars for a battenberg. Yeah, what's these? 
Waffles? Hash brown waffles, yeah, that's not very English. Okay. Yeah, British. Like yeah. They've really cut down, haven't they, since um, Covid. These shelves were empty, weren't they, when we came? Yeah. We have a fresh fruit section here with lots of different vegetables and fruit. Weighing station. Green, Green plums. plums. Got those. Cactus pears. What? They do have some interesting fruits and things here, don't they? Yeah, and vegetables, like Middle, East Middle East type yeah. vegetables. Yeah. That we are not used to seeing. Always interesting to find. Some squash. Some types of squash. Yucca. Coconut. Yeah. White coconut. Yeah. And red coconut. Yeah. Green coconut. Is that like the coconut still in the husk? No, these are what, no, maybe. Yeah, these must have a coconut still in it. Yeah, maybe. Papaya, grapefruit. Lots of dates here, and lots of date dishes. So how much the PG is here. Ten ninety nine. Lots of honeys and jams in here, aren't they? Used to have crisps where they had all the crisps over here, wasn't it? Before yeah. boxes and walkers. Now you've just got one shelf with a couple on. You can get you lots of different uh, tinned fish and meats. Lots of different things in here. Things I can't pronounce, like that one. Yeah, oh yeah, nice. these are the nearest thing we got to wagon wheels, aren't they? Yeah. Ulka chocolate, where are they from actually? Ulka, you see where they're made? Where they no, they probably won't be. Oh yeah, the deli's all closed at the moment, isn't it? The cafe. I got some Angel Delight type stuff. I've still got it in the cupboard here. I haven't eaten it yet, we've got to get that. It's like this stuff which um, I'm not seeing anywhere else. And they also have um, sardines and stuff here that I got. You can actually get sardines in tomato sauce, which I like. Sardines on toast. Do you like sardines on toast? It's one of my favourites. No soups. No Swiss muesli. Mm. Nine dollars a pack though. Wow. Yeah, you can't get muesli over here. It's really, really bad. To get muesli, it's all sweet stuff here. So a lot of this is like German, I think. That's German, tomato and creme soup. Yeah, German ones. And all your, all your um, ketchups and sauces, and I have no idea what some of this stuff is. Any Google can translate on some of this. It's corn. No. And some of these you can tell by the labels. Fried eggplant, oh nice. Mizara Chasimi. Hmm. What are you got in? Roasted chestnuts. Interesting. Mushroom flavoured soup. Oh, mixes. Breadcrumbs. And jams and jellies. What's different? Plum jam. Great molasses. Look at that. Orange preserve. Yeah. I didn't mention any of the vloggers, I tried a preserve and a jam and a jelly. That's a preserve. That's a jam and then a jelly has no fruit bits in whatsoever. Tam Tams, I've heard of them before. Aren't they Japanese? No, that looks like it's Russian. I don't know. We've got some small ones of those. Uh, yeah, we tried them last time. Mini Jaffa cakes. I like a Swiss roll. Like... Rouleau pasta. Oh, we got some more of them. They look similar. Uh, yeah, similar, aren't they? Yeah. 
And they got like other oh, like uh, the other ones. Oh. I got more. Oh. They're the ones. They're the those jamming. strawberry they're the jamming. Yeah. Good. Blackberry. Blackberry ones, jam. Eh? Yeah. Pepper. I don't know there. Banana pepper slices. Pickled cabbage. Pickled gherkins. Alright, should we go and find the uh, English stuff? That's cafe, they've got this cafe. Yeah. They've got carnation milk. Yeah. Yeah, no British stuff. Oh, here we go, they've got some quality street. $5.99 for your after eight, so I'm sure quality street here. $29.99. Which got on? There's a couple of advent calendars. Is there? Nothing there, is there? We found. Some sesame sticks, I like. We have some Christmas puds and some uh, gin infused fruit tarts. I for the, for yeah, for after eights. Quality streets. Uh, 26. Yeah. We're getting some after eights here. Yeah. Now this section used to be like full of uh, biscuit, I mean you couldn't move through both sides and now you see pretty depleted. Got a ginger nuts here, how much are we paying for the, how much are we, a dodge how much are we paying for those? Uh, do, we, do we need any rice pud, because we had one. 2 29 for jammy dodgers. Are they? Got one or two of those then. Just like nothing here now, isn't it? What they used to be. Yeah. Used to have, they used to have um, cakes and all well, this used to be chocolate there, yeah. Not anymore. Chocolate restock. 129. 129. Yeah, these are usually cheaper than public, so. Whispers. Hawaiian bars, smarties. Twelves. <laughs> Dairy milk, bounties, arrows. Now we do need some tomato ketchup and uh, soup, and I was talking about before. We need the HP or salad cream? Uh, yes, we do. 5.29 for a salad cream. Well, first. Yeah, check the dates on these because these are. That'll be December, won't it? Yeah. Because it'll be English. And what, how much are those? 5.29? 5.29. Okay. And HP's 4.79. Can do. And we want some proper Branston, the original, not the bleh, stuff you got me. This still, look at that. That's oh, curry sauce, remember? 16, 6. Some brand. Like Branston is 5. 540. Right, yes. This is the original. Yeah. No, the, the, the one original, with. Okay. Yeah. She got those uh, ones with the small chunks in, which were not original. We need, some, we need tomato soup, we have none left. So 2.49. What do you want, three of them or two of them? We have some bigger ones as well. I oh, know, it's odd. Don't need any beans, do we? We've got tray beans here once, we've just about finished them. Mushy peas 1.99, is that cheap? Yeah. We had some mushy I peas with his... Uh, I only get them to go with the pies. Yeah, we had some with the pies, though, didn't we? Yeah, so I've still got one more tin left to go yeah. with the rest of them. Yeah. So there you go. We got down. How much was that lot? Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven bucks. Yeah, in there. So uh, you don't have to be a member to go in. Any nope. members, anybody can go in. But if you do join their membership program, you get points, and you got what five dollars off. Another five dollars off. And another five dollar voucher off. So yeah. it's just decimated what it used to be. It used to be what five times that much stuff oh, in there. Oh, it's only five times. Yeah, and you used to have all the stuff for Easter and Christmas, and now since COVID, it just it's very very small percentage. We get a better choice at. Fry a tuck, but fry, that, some of the things in there are still cheaper. Still a bit cheaper. Cheaper than fry a tuck, but uh, I, hope you I hope you enjoyed today's vlog where it was kind of shopping at Universal, shopping at International Food Club. We obviously didn't find the Jaws bag, but we will keep looking for that. Let's try again. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you like what we do, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. We try and answer all your comments. And we, with these bags, will see the latter. Bye. Bye.